GM, GM, thanks so much for joining us on this learning journey. Welcome to Stellar 101. Are you ready to go from newbie to newly minted? As a Sorbonne smart contract developer, this video will walk through the basics of building on the Stellar blockchain. My name is Chris Anatalio, and I'll be your guide. I'm a software engineer and a developer advocate for the Stellar Development Foundation. I've been in the tech industry for over 10 years, and blockchain is the most exciting thing I've seen since the proliferation of the internet. Follow me on Twitter at CAnitalio, or find me on Discord at Chris.Anitalio. So, why should you build on Stellar with Sorbon? Well, the Stellar network is decentralized, super fast, scalable, and sustainable. But don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Let's take a look at realtps.net, which measures blockchain transaction throughput. We could see Stellar is number four using this methodology. Next, let's check out chainspec.app slash dashboard. This service uses a different method and it looks like Stellar is number three in this case. The Stellar network creates tangible real world utility for everyday users. Builders and financial institutions worldwide use the platform to issue assets and to send and convert currencies in real time. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Okashi to work with Sorbonne in a browser and leverage the Stellar CLI to work with Sorbonne on the command line. First, we'll go through a quick intro on Rust. Then we'll walk through the Sorbonne smart contract platform. After that, we're gonna jump into some live coding with Okashi. Finally, we'll demonstrate the Stellar command line interface in action. Sound good? Okay, let's dive in. First off, let's talk about Rust, the language used to write Sorbon smart contracts. Rust combines the power and precision of low-level languages with the developer velocity of high-level ones. Rust is super fast and reliable. It helps you avoid memory management issues that are common in C, and it helps you write multi-threaded programs that are readable, maintainable, and crash-free. Okay, let's take a look at Rust in action. Open up your terminal, then let's install RustUp. RustUp is a Rust toolchain installer. We will install from source. Execute a curl command, pass in HTTPS as the allowed protocol, ensure curl uses TLS 1.2, then pass in the options dash lowercase s for silent, uppercase s for showing errors, and lowercase f to fail silently. Then let's pass in the URL sh.rustup.rs. Finally, pipe that to shell. After that, let's install a target for rustup. Execute the command rustup target add wasm32 unknown unknown. Check out our getting started guide for more details. You can find it at developers.stellar.org slash docs slash build smart contracts getting started. Now let's bootstrap a new project. Open up your terminal, then type in cargo new gm underscore world. Next, let's look at what we generated. CD into the gm world directory, then execute the ls command. We created a cargo toml file, and our main.rs file is nested in the src folder. After that, let's open up VS Code. Let's import the directory we just created, click the Explorer tab, click Open Folder, then select our project. Now let's write some Rust. Expand the SRC folder, 
and double click the main.rs file to open it. Let's write a new function that adds two 32-bit integers together. Define a function named add that accepts two parameters. The first named a, a 32-bit integer, and b, another 32-bit integer. This function will also return another 32-bit int. Next, let's define the function body. We will add the two passed-in parameters, a and b. Rust automatically returns the value of the last expression in the code block. So there is no need for a return statement in this case. Now let's invoke that function by updating the main function body. Define a variable named result using the let keyword, then set that equal to the results of invoking the function add, passing in the parameters one and two, then a semicolon. Next, let's update the print line statement. Enter in the string result colon space, then a placeholder. Finally, pass in the argument result. The value of this placeholder will be populated by the result value through string interpolation. Finally, let's execute this code. There is a run button we can click hovering over the main function. Click this run button and we can see the results in the output window printed to console. Next, let's go over Sorbonne. Sorbonne is built with performance, sustainability, and security in mind. Sorbonne enables you to build complex apps without performance bottlenecks. It uses Rust and WebAssembly for superior performance and ensures that transactions never conflict. It allows for true parallel execution, significantly increasing throughput. Check out stellar.org slash to learn more. Now let's check out Okashi. Okashi is a integrated developer environment in your browser. Okashi allows you to write code, build and compile, deploy, and invoke smart contracts. Open up a browser and navigate to okashi.dev. Then click Open Playground. First off, click New Project. Then let's review the pre-populated code. On line one, you'll see the attribute no underscore std. This ensures the Rust standard library is not included in the build. The standard library is huge and not suitable for use in smart contracts. On line two, we import types and macros from the Sorbon SDK, such as contract and contract impl. On line four, this annotation is a procedural attribute macro. It designates the defined strut named contract as the type to which contract functions are associated. Contract functions are defined in the implementation block for that contract strut on lines eight through 18 and is annotated by contract impl on line seven. The contract function say hi defined on line 15 will print a message to console. Now let's try it out. Click the compile button to compile from Rust to Wasm, then open up the contract tab. We can now invoke the say hi function. Clicking the button in the contract section will cause a modal to appear with a prompt for a string literal. Enter in your name and press call to invoke the function. After which the message, hello with the value you entered will be logged to console. This function does not return a value. Next, let's check out the Stellar command line interface. The Stellar CLI is a developer tool that runs in your terminal. It features the following, code completion, smart contract tools, key management, event handling, and decoding XDR, the Stellar binary format. 
external data representation. Now let's open up your terminal. We are going to install the CLI using cargo. Execute the command cargo install, passing in the option locked with Stellar CLI as the parameter to ensure the correct dependencies are used. Then pass in the option features with the parameter OPT. After that installs, let's create a new identity. Execute the command Stellar keys generate new underscore KP double dash network space testnet. This will generate a new key pair on the testnet network. Then we'll bootstrap a new project using the command stellar contract init hello dash world. This will create a new Sorbon project in the hello world directory. CD into hello world, then execute the command cat contracts slash hello underscore world src lib.rs to print the contents of our contract to console. We could see the contract contains one function named hello that takes in a parameter named two of the type symbol. Next, let's compile from Rust to Wasm using the command stellar contract build. Finally, we are going to deploy the contract using the command stellar contract deploy, setting the network to testnet, then set the source to the key pair we created, new underscore KP, and set wasm to the target we created earlier. Target slash wasm32 dash unknown dash unknown, release hello underscore world dot wasm. This will deploy our contract and return the hash of the deployed contract. Next, let's invoke the deployed contract. Execute the command stellar contract invoke, passing in the deployed contract hash as the ID. Set the network to testnet, set the source to our key pair, then use the syntax double dash space hello double dash two, then pass in the string world in single quotes to invoke the hello function on the contract. The function returns the vector with the entries hello and world. We will go into more detail in further videos, but you should now understand the basic Stellar CLI workflow. This is just the start of your learning journey with Stellar. Check out these other resources. Stellar Developer Hub, Stellar Expert, Stellar Laboratory, and the Developer's Blog. These links can be found in the description. Also, at the time of this recording, we have a big upcoming event. Meridian 2024 is coming to London. Join us for three days of workshops, networking, and talks. The theme is transformation. Tickets include full access to talks and workshops, welcome cocktails, and a gala dinner. Get your ticket at meridian.stellar.org. Thanks so much for taking the time to learn with us. You now have a solid foundation of using Okashi and the Stellar CLI to write, build, and invoke Sorbonne smart contracts. Join us on Discord and follow us on X. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.